Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zizi Po Zama Africa Busakwe, aka Zizi Africa. This video is part three of a three part series where I share with you guys how I successfully navigated my way into South Africa's best software training um, institution or program. Uh, within code. So let me remind you guys quickly that within code has a four-step application process You submit your your contact details then your personal details then you um, Write the online assessments and then you do boot camp There's a last step which is an interview a social interview, but it's not officially part of the four steps So let's just say four steps, but please just be aware that there's a social interview at the end where we think code um, gets to know you as a person via a conversation and that's i suppose where they really determine whether you're a really good fit for the organization besides just your ability to um do the code and you know learn the work so this video is about step four right the boot camp which i think is a very big part of the selection process. I know that in the grander scheme of things, there are different understandings of what bootcamp is in the tech community, but particularly within Within Code, bootcamp refers to the six day um, process where you are invited to come um, on campus. Uh, because now we are in the climate that we are in, there's also a virtual version of this. But essentially, you are you are invited to come into the six day um, selection situation where you are put in a similar position to what you would be in if you were an actual within code student. So it's like it's a replication of what. Um, life at a week and we think cold might look like the team puts you through that week gives you a couple of um, um, material to read through they give you um, assessments to do practice questions um, some mini projects and then at the end you do um, an exam so I'm part of the 2021 cohort I had my boot camp um, in the beginning of 2021 and I joined in September 2021. Now, things may have changed since then. I'm going to be telling you guys about the experience that I had and how I prepared and the things that helped me get through the boot camp that we were given, right? So this is not a guarantee that this is what your boot camp is going to look like. Neither is it a, a subscription. I mean, a prescription in terms of what you should be doing to prepare for your boot camp. It's just my experience. What worked for me? Take what you will, and you know, inject your own special. Um, I don't know some something to to help. The thing I did to prepare. Um, for boot camp is one prior to boot camp i prepared myself mentally um and i think that okay what do i mean when i say i prepared myself mentally um one i did a lot of affirmations i also did um, a vision board where i basically cut down pictures of how i see myself um during boot camp how i see myself showing up how I see myself interacting with the work, um, interacting with the students. And also I, in, in my vision board, I also included like seeing myself now post bootcamp having succeeded and in the actual campus and also even having graduated again. Okay. So I'm a very big believer in you know visualizing. So I prepared a vision board for bootcamp and for my journey at Within Code as a whole as part of my mental preparation for my bootcamp. The second thing, when it comes to affirmations, these were just daily um, words of affirmations that I was saying to myself that I am confident, I am capable, I am a tech um, person, you know, I've got what it takes, that sort of thing. I knew which areas I was struggling in and I knew which areas I was really good at. So it, it, with those affirmations, I was really um, working to reinforce the areas that I knew I was strong in. And I was looking to also build myself up in the areas where I knew that I needed a little bit of building. So I was quite intentional about the phrases that I picked to really build myself up and prepare myself to show up um, as the kind of person who's ready and who's going to be recognized and who's going to feel like um, I should be there. The other form of mental preparation that I did was actually during the boot camp itself. So during boot camp, every single day without fail, I would wake up in the morning and go for a run. 
right a five kilometer run and then after that i would then um read my affirmations again i would also make sure that i read a personal development book um this for me was important because i know that when i start my morning right and i do certain things in the morning it sets me up very well for the day it makes me see myself and think of myself as a certain kind of person and that helps me show up in a way that i exude that kind of person right so that for me was basically how i prepared mentally another important thing that i did was i always made sure that i slept um i gave myself enough sleep right so i didn't do i didn't stay up the whole night i didn't do all nighters i was very strict with myself about when i sleep particularly because i know that i tend to do better when i am well rested and i am in a good mental and emotional space it may look different for you i'm not against staying up if that's what you need to do to get through i just simply did what i knew was best for me the second thing I did to prepare for boot camp after preparing mentally was I cleared my plate. So before you come into the Think Code, you may be a student who's just left high school where you don't have any big commitments at that point where you're doing your boot camp, which is great. Or it may be that you're working and you currently have a job or you are involved in you know some kind of commitments. For me, I really wanted to show up and be fully, fully, fully pres present during boot camp. So I was very proactive in kind of booking myself out from all the commitments that I have. So that meant that I took leave from my job. It meant that I, you know, if I had any family responsibilities, I made sure that everybody in my family knew that in that week, my availability will be very limited. Only contact me if it's urgent. Um, my friends knew that I'm not available for lunch dates and for all of that stuff um, because I'm at the thing code. Listen, it's not like I was not socializing. I was still living, but I was very intentional about getting myself out of commitments and also blocking out myself from incoming commitments during that time because I wanted to be 100% present and immersed and fully 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 committed to the process and the third thing i did to prepare myself for boot camp is i watched um, mosh hamedani's introduction to python course so if you go on youtube and i will include a link um to the in the description box um so i watched mosh hamedani's i think it's a six hour long introduction to python course or python for beginners something like that and what i did is i would take my laptop open it and and you know he kind of like instructs you using um python and pycharm so i would open pycharm sit with my laptop and put my phone because i didn't have an extra screen screen at the time <laughs> i'd put my phone next to me and i would watch uh, mosh hamedani's video and then i would code along the fourth thing that helped i believe helped me through boot camp is that um i chose the headed track so um when you are when you okay during at least our boot camp there were two streams um for the people that are applying there was the python track and the headed track so my understanding of the python track was that that was the track that was designed um for students who already have experience in python so i guess the understanding is that the work and the exercises that they would be doing and the projects they would be doing would, would be pitched at a level that is consistent with the fact that they've got experience in python and then the headed track assumes that you have absolutely no knowledge of python you've never coded for a day in your life and you're going to start from scratch right you're going to be taught everything from scratch and i i think that the exercises and the activities that you do are consistent with that i never really interacted with the python people python track people so i don't know if because when you're doing the headed track there's a point where you're doing different exercises and then you kind of graduate to the same exercises as the python track people do or at least to the same topics so i'm not sure if at that point you do exactly the same problems as they do or there's a difference in the intensity or type of problems but for me i particularly opted in for the heady program even though i had watched the mosh hamedani video because i felt like when we think code says you are an experienced programmer i don't understand what they mean by that so they could mean that you've coded a line of code they could mean that you are an advanced programmer and for me i didn't want to put my hand up and say i'm an advanced programmer when i've only watched one video and end up disadvantaging myself 
and also i felt like even if i've learned some stuff on youtube i actually want to be taught by within code from scratch assuming that i have no knowledge of python whatsoever because i just felt like that just was a good way for me to lay a foundation for myself and not unnecessarily like disadvantage myself and the fifth one which i'm about to get into now is that i trusted the we think called team and i actually pretty much really did as they advised so i mean guys i think when generally when you're applying or you are in an application process for anything generally there'll be someone who's gonna come and tell you guys some advice on how to get through the pro program and this is usually like an official person so it's not like some advice on the side and i think generally as people we think we are being um tricked you know and we tend to not necessarily listen to the advice but but for me i, I always go into pros, application processes with the assumption that the people that are, are hosting and are evaluate are hosting this application process and are evaluating me actually want me to succeed they actually want me to get into this program and to be successful in this application process so there's generally no incentive for them to lie to me or to give me advice that is not going to actually help so i actually trust what they say and um one of the things that was said at Within Code is that you should actually really enjoy the process. You should learn and, and share what you learn with others, teach other people. You should demonstrate the values that um, we stand by Within Code. Some of those are Ubuntu, some of it is grit, some of it is responsibility. So, uh, and also you should not be afraid to ask questions. You should actually ask for help. You should expect to struggle, but you should make sure that when you're struggling doesn't make you curl into a corner and kind of be like, oh, I'm not made, this is not for me, I'm not cut out it should actually make you gravitate towards others and actually work as a community to seek to solve the problem and for you to move forward so for me i really took that literally and i decided that okay i'm gonna have fun i'm going to learn as much as i can i'm gonna teach everybody what i learn i'm going to demonstrate that i have grit i'm gonna demonstrate ubuntu by helping other people and i'm definitely going to demonstrate a sense of responsibility by showing that i can arrive to campus punctually and that i can also manage my timelines and deliver my work on time and that sort of thing so i think really guys um really take the advice that you get because actually people want you to be successful and it's really not a trick it's not a trick question they're not trying to say go left because they know the thing is on the right no actually like what they're actually telling you is most likely going to be the thing that's going to help you of course you need to use your discretion as well as a person you know think for yourself it doesn't mean now whoever tells you to do now you should do that now think for yourself but generally the advice is really helpful um i didn't try to find the secret or i didn't try to find the trick or try to do things like i stuck to the program like when they said read every word in those notes i literally read every word when they said take your time don't rush yourself i literally took my time when they said complete the practice exercises before you do the assignments that's what i did when they said do the assignments before you do the project that's exactly what i did and when they said do this to prepare for the exam on saturday that's what i did i i made sure that i at least to do what they've asked me to do and then if i want to do any other extra stuff on top of that i did it but the very bare minimum was to actually do what i was told and um i think this this stemmed from again trusting the process and actually trusting the people that are giving me advice that they want the same things as me main thing was pace yourself so um there were other people there who, who were catching on the work very much quicker than me like i remember there was a guy that sat next to me i'm not gonna say his name because i mean i didn't ask for his permission but he was really like he was on it like you know like on the first day i think he was like on on on, on wednesday's work already and i i was lagging relative to him but he was very nice also he was not like weird about it he was very nice he was very generous with his knowledge and his understanding but he was flying through the work and i was moving at a at a, at a pace at a steady pace at a, at a pace that would make sure that i am always in line with the deliverables but i was certainly not the fastest person but i was just like you know what let me pace myself and let me move at a pace that is feels comfortable to me and also at a pace that makes sure that i can understand the things and not just get through them for the sake of getting through them and also just at a pace that is in line with the with the deadlines that we've been given so please do pace yourself guys in a, in, a, in a peer learning environment where everyone is free to go at their own pace there's a very big pressure to rush and to keep up with other people please don't fall into that trap 
work at your own pace and if that pace makes you the first person to finish that's amazing if it makes you the last person to finish that's also still amazing because the point is that you understand the work and that you do well the other thing was ask for help so i think because we think code is a peer learning institution and there's such a big emphasis on the ability to help others and the ability to be helped in that in, in that environment i knew that signaling that you know how to help others and you know how to ask for help was a thing that was actually going to help me it was not a thing that was going to be making me be seen as a person who's incapable or a person who's inadequate so i was very deliberate about asking for help and i also had a goal actually every day when i go to campus that i want today i want to help three people um, and not from a, like a narcissistic perspective, but from a perspective where in this community, it's important that I learn and I help others with what I learn. So I would write down that I want to help three people and, you know, more or less every day I'd end up helping three people or more people. So after I went through my six days of boot camp, I told myself that, okay, I went there, I showed up, I did my best in terms of my intellectual, the way I showed up intellectually and I engaged myself, but also in terms of the way I showed up as a person and how I interacted with other people. And now I need to let it go. I can't now be obsessing about wanting to get into a thin code and be sending and be harassing with thin code and sending them emails every two seconds asking if they have the results or not. No, 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 no. After I finished bootcamp, I closed the chapter. I moved on with my life fully but of course I kept my eyes on my emails because I did not want to miss um, my invitation to the interview because girl or oh boy I knew I was gonna make it you know and that not from an egotistical perspective but I really believed that I did everything I did my best I showed up in the best of myself and I deserve to be there so I'm gonna get the interview and lo and behold I did get the call to do the social interview and again I prepared myself mentally I prepared myself in terms of the content of what I thought might come up and on the day I showed up as the best of myself and right now I am part of the code as a student and also okay now I'm part of the thing code as a student let's keep it there so yes guys that is the end of this video and that is the end of the series how i made it into the thing code i think i really need to say this again the reason why i shot this um these these video videos um is because i really want to help people who feel like they don't really have a sense of their they don't have an inside as information or they don't have they really want an authentic experience of somebody who's gone through the process and i also just wanted to encourage somebody who might be afraid to take the leap and actually apply because i actually also was very afraid you know i didn't think i was good enough i didn't think i would be accepted I didn't think I had it in me to become a tech person, you know, but I decided to go ahead and apply anyways. And I was terrified when I was writing my online assessments, but I wrote them anyways and I made it. And um, the first time I heard that I was going to go to boot camp, I was scared, but I kind of built myself up, you know, and I built up my confidence and I built up my self-esteem and I built up my 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 identity and how i see myself to the extent that by the time that it was time for boot camp i was actually ready and i really wasn't faking it i really legitimately felt like i deserved it i walked like i deserved it i spoke like i deserved it i did things like i deserved it um and it translated and i now i'm in so i think guys please if you're thinking of applying and you're worried and you're scared and you're doubtful that's okay just do it anyways and you will gradually progressively step by step work on yourself until you know and just make sure that at each stage you're just ready for the stage that's coming next and even if you're ready just do it like you 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 build up as you go and if you actually are already feeling confident you're feeling ready you're like i am the girl or i am the guy i love it for you well done that's a very good starting point now back it up and apply go to the boot camp smash it and yeah guys to everyone truly all the best i really truly hopefully i can't wait to see you on campus actually in 2022 and yeah guys all the best and yes may the code be with you bye